island makes me feel just like Captain Kidd. Yeah, you should. You are a kid. <sighs> These Caribbean islands are incredibly rich with natural resources. And with your help, the people can develop those resources. Look, everybody. That must be Captain Kidd's bottomless treasure pit. Indeed it is, Scott. To this day, no one's ever reached the bottom of it. Or found the treasure, supposedly buried there. Must be a celebration going on. Those are real cannonballs, Dad! Take cover! Some kind of celebration? Not much of a celebration when you're the target. Boy, now I know how a bowling pin feels. Those cannons haven't fired real ammo in 300 years. We're going to have to look into this. Are you trying to tell me no one fired those cannons? Well, I swear to you, Mr. Tracker, I'm as confused as you are. The cannons went off all by themselves. Those cannonballs almost gave me a flat top. And a free shave. Well, I can understand why you're upset, but this is not the first time the cannons fired by themselves. This happened before? Last night. People are beginning to believe it's the work of Captain Kidd's ghost. He was once here, you know. Captain Kidd's ghost? No, T-Bob. The real Captain Kidd. He pirated gold, then used the garrison for a hideout. He was attacked by the British Navy and run off. Do you mind if we have a look around? By all means. After all, you're a guest of our government. And this is a national monument. Old-fashioned gunpowder. It had to have been set off with a remote detonator of some kind. Probably. But that still doesn't tell us too much. Maybe a few of those cannonballs back on Captain Kidd's island might give us a clue. My plan is working like a well-oiled machine. Don't count your money yet, Mayhem. Captain Kidd's ghost hasn't finished firing all the cannonballs we need. Petty, petty. That's you all the way, Warfield. Phew! These cannonballs are too heavy for me. How come you don't help us, Mayhem? Because you work for me. Just don't want to do all the work and wind up with nothing. Malloy, you're a sponge brain. Every time you got a job, you think someone's out to get you. He's right. You're a maranoid, Malloy. That's paranoid. Now put that cannonball down and finish up so you can get back to the garrison and reload the cannons. <laughs> you told me to put the ball down. Not on my foot, you idiot. <laughs> I'm glad you find this amusing. Look, Mayhem. Collecting cannonballs isn't exactly my idea of a tropical vacation. That's what you think. Hondo, grab us one of those cannonballs while I set up the computer. You bet, Matt. Let's play pirate some more, T-Bob. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. Oh, where's the corn on the cob? Corn on the cob? Sure. I'm gonna sell it for a buccaneer. Get it? Just for that, I'm gonna turn you into a cannon. Cannon? I got an idea for a super cannonball. Honey. Since when do you call a pirate honey? Lucky the bees have gone collecting nectar. Wait till you see this. This is 
is great. Ta-da! Presenting the Honey Ball. Okay, oh, load me up. Ready? Aim. Fire. Oh no! I'm gonna oh, have to fine no. tune that thing. Ooh, looks like you really bumble things in more ways than one. What a close call. Buzz off! Well, either there's a cannonball thief on the loose or somebody's playing a bad joke. They've all disappeared. But there must have been a couple of dozen all over the place. Not anymore. Hey, Dad, here's one. What? Uh, at least there's half a cannonball left. Look, somebody made steps. They weren't there before. T-Bob, how about fishing that cannonball out for us? Sure. Captain Hook to the rescue! This job is the pits. things too far. Hold on to your cable, T-Bob. I'll get you free. Hang on, I'm coming. Now I'm footloose and fancy free. See you later. Well, T-Bob, looks like you got your limit. Hurry up, Dad. I'm coming. Water. The ocean tides must be in, causing pressure on the walls. Just don't ever ask me again to unclog the plumbing. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Wonder why someone would cut a cannonball in half and hollow it out. I'm not sure, but it looks like it was done with a fine-tuned state-of-the-art laser. 
Yeah. There's only one gang of pirates with a weapon of such precision. Venom. And they've been reported in the area. This is a job for Mask. Scan the personnel files for the Mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Dusty Hayes, auto and marine stunt driver. Vehicle code name, Gator. Stunt driving capabilities could be an asset. Additional personnel, Hondo McLean, pre-selected. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Hey, Captain! <laughs> Ooh, whoops, uh, this eye patch won't stay. Uh, would you fix it for me, Captain? Sure, anything to help my first mate. You're lucky. There's bubble gum in here left over from the time your rivets came loose. Wait a minute. This is the cannonball we've been looking for. The bubblegum ball. Hope it's better than the honey ball. Just let me adjust this a little bit. When we gave it a scan of the Thunderhawk's computer, it came up gold. Captain Kidd's treasure was never found because it's never been lost. Yeah. The captain melted down his gold and coated it with iron to look like cannonballs. What in thunder for? Well, when I was practicing the breaststroke underground, I went through a lot of tunnels. Some of them are connected to the ocean. The cannonballs can be forced through the tunnels the same way. And you can bet to a pre-planned location on the beach. I got it now. Good. What? It worked! Dad always told me it pays to stick to things. And that gives me an idea on how to nail Venom. We'll call it Operation Stick'em Up. <laughs> Captain Kid's ghost strikes again! Get us out of here! Right on! Okay, time to disarm Venom's plan. Too bad it's gotten. T-Bob won't be around to see this. Oh, I'd rather be back at the hotel, staying up with the late movie. The only thing I want to watch is Dad surprise Venom. After all, I gave him the idea. Now be quiet. Whip on! Twelve yesterday and twelve the night before. That makes... 25 gold cannonballs! I really don't know why I involved you in such a brilliant caper. It ought to be brilliant. It was Captain Kidd's idea. I can hardly wait to help lower Venom's Jolly Roger. Don't worry, Dusty. They'll show themselves right after they fire the cannons. When it comes to gold, their timing's better than a Swiss watch. Time for Captain Kidd's final attack on the island. Yeah! Anchors away! getting stronger. These are pretty light. Now it's time for us to control the situation. Oh! What? What is going on? Boy, T-Bob, did you see that? Yeah. Venom really knows how to stick together. 
I didn't know Captain Kidd chewed bubblegum. <laughs> you moron! Somebody switch the cannonballs! Wants to ruin my plan. Go after them. Looks like Mayhem gummed up another brilliant caper. Battle mode. involved in that. You've got bees in your bonnet. T-Bob, that's it. Bees in your bonnet. Get your cannonball bomber ready. Me and my big mouth. Too mad, Dad. I mean, we sort of helped out with the beehive. You sure did, Scott. And that's one sting operation Venom never planned on. <laughs> Let's face it, T-Bob. Robots just can't get a tan. Not true, Scott. I have a secret tanning plan that won't fail. It's right here. You two shouldn't play with glass on the beach. It could break. And it's hard to see it in the sand. Someone could cut their foot real bad. Yeah, you're right. Broken glass is dangerous on the beach. Robot tanning lotion. 